Welcome back. I can't actually believe my eyes, but the linear rail arrived. And in this episode I'm going to fix this uh, to the Y-beam here and do all of the surrounding stuff. So mount the um, laser head on this, put the energy chain on this and um, do all the other movement stuff like the belt and the end stops for this axis. So let's get started with just mounting the linear rail to this slot there. Alright, now for mounting the belt, we have this stepper motor of course, which, well, does the moving part. And then we've got the idler bearing, which is on the other side, basically. And the belt runs between these two. So for mounting the stepper motor, I've got this little bracket, or this little plate basically, just sawed and um, cut to shape basically using a file and a step drill for this big hole. I can just put this on here, click, very nice sound, and then just go ahead and screw this on there. Alright, there it is. That's mounted very rigidly and now we can use these two holes to mount this to the uh, to the aluminium extrusion and this is for the idler bearing this has a, has a thread in here as you can see and this is just kind of a shield for the belt so that it doesn't kind of slip off and we've got spacers so that the bearing isn't pressed between these two plates, so it actually can move. You can just thread that in here. There it is. Let's mount that to the uh, laser cutter. Alright, now that I've got the Y motor and both of the X motors wired in, we can actually, well we could do that before, and now we can actually move the head in these directions, as you can see. That's pretty nice. And now we will have to wire in the end stops, so that we can actually home this axis as well, and then we will be pretty damn far on this project. Now in case you don't know what these end stops are, they're basically just normal switches and when these switches are pressed like this, then a connection is closed and the motherboard knows that the end stop has been hit. So that's a very simple mechanical end stop. Pretty much the most simple thing you can use as an end stop, but it works. Alright, so I have wired in the end stop over there and the end stop over there has already been wired a few days ago. Um, and now we can do the complete homing process for the XY plane. And basically what that is for is that the machine has to know, or for a laser job, needs to know where it actually is in the machine. So we need a move that always um, moves to one definite spot and this is basically homing. It finds the home of the machine and the home or the home point basically is over there. So if I press the datum button which is the home button on this panel, I can just whoops, let's do that.
you can see. It moves to that point and from now on we can just kind of move the lasers we want to. Alright, that's nice.